probably heard of a root beer float, but an egg float? You can try one for yourself with this experiment on density. To do this experiment, you will need two tall drinking glasses, two raw eggs, water, salt, and a spoon. Start by filling one glass almost to the top with water. Next, carefully drop an egg into the water-filled glass and watch what happens. You should observe the egg sinking to the bottom of the glass. Now, fill the second glass with water until it is half full. Next, add four tablespoons of salt to the second glass and stir. One, two, three, four. This is a safe experiment for small groups of students to complete on their own. Be sure students who handle the eggs wash their hands with soap and water after they finish the activity. Now we'll fill the second glass with water almost to the top. Finally, carefully drop the second egg into the salt water solution and watch what happens. You should see that you did indeed make an egg float. But how? The explanation is simple. In step two, the egg dropped to the bottom of the glass. But in step five, the egg floated. Why the difference? It's all about density. Density has to do with the amount of matter contained in a specific space or volume. Because the egg is more dense than the water, the egg pushed away water particles so it could make space for itself, thus sinking. When the salt was added to the water in the second glass, the salt dissolved into particles that bonded tightly to the water molecules, which packed more matter into the space. This makes salt water denser than regular water. The denser the liquid, the easier it is for an object to float in it. Now that you've seen for yourself how to make an egg float, can you explain why you can float more easily in the ocean than you can in a freshwater lake? Bet you can!